Lavrov says U.S. and NATO are seeking Russia's defeat on the battlefield. The United States and its NATO allies are seeking to win a victory over Russia on the battlefield to destroy our country. Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov told TASS in an interview. The actions by the collective West and their puppet, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky confirmed the global nature of the Ukrainian crisis. It is no secret that the strategic goal of the U.S. and its NATO allies is to win a victory over Russia on the battlefield as a mechanism of weakening or even destroying our country, Lavrov said. Our opponents will do just about anything to achieve its goal, he added. According to Russia's top diplomat, the beneficiary of a hot conflict is the United States, who has been seeking to get the most of it both economically and strategically. Washington has also been showing a key geopolitical goal of breaking the traditional bonds between Russia and Europe and making their European satellites even more dependent on them, Lavrov emphasized. Sergei Lavrov said that Russia's proposal on demilitarization and denazification of Kiev-controlled lands and on the elimination of security threats should be accepted in an amicable way or the Russian army will deal with this issue. The enemy is well aware of our proposals on the demilitarization and denazification of the Kiev region's controlled territories. The elimination of threats to Russia's security that come from there, and it includes our new territories, DPR, LPR, Kherson, and Zaporizhzhia regions, the minister said. There is little left to do to accept these proposals in an amicable way. Otherwise, the Russian army will deal with this issue, Lavrov stated. As for the possible continuation of the conflict, then the ball is on the court side of the Kiev regime and Washington, which stands behind it. They can put an end at any time to the senseless resistance, the Russian foreign minister added. Sergei Lavrov said that Russia and the United States are unable to maintain a normal path of a conversation due to the confrontational course assumed by U.S. President Joe Biden. Maintaining a normal conversation with the Biden's administration, which declares a strategic defeat to our country as one of its aims, is objectively impossible, Lavrov said, adding that Washington's confrontational anti-Russian course keeps assuming a more acute and all-embracing nature. Russia's top diplomat noted that Russian-U.S. relations are a really deplorable state as they had almost stalled due to Washington. We have been consistently explaining to Americans that it is not in our style to intentionally depreciate intergovernmental relations, Lavrov noted. However, we proceed from the stance of reciprocity under any circumstances when it comes to building a dialogue. In other words, as a rule, we act according to the principle of an eye for an eye, but not necessarily symmetrically, Lavrov added.